guys. So for a while now, we have wanted to buy and flip a house. We've actually put offers in on multiple houses, but things just didn't work out. However, apparently 2020 is just the year that all, or so many, I should say, of my dreams are coming true because a few, I guess, weeks ago, we were walking through our neighborhood and came upon a house, only a few houses down from our personal house that had a coming soon sign. We acted fast, got our offer in, and now we are under contract on this house. We are so excited. We're currently in that due diligence phase, so we're obviously getting inspections and all of that. And let me just preface before I take you on a tour of it that we know this guy is in rough shape. Um, it definitely needs a lot of work, but honestly, that's kind of what we were looking for. We wanted a house that needed some help and something that we could really put our own touch on. So I'm going to take you on a tour. All right, so you enter the house through this screened in front porch here. We think this was something that was added on at some point. Um, this house was built in 1939. And you will see as we come in that like a lot of bungalows built during that time period, the rooms are very much sectioned off. So you walk in off the front porch to the living room. You got this nice fireplace here, some stained glass windows, nice arch detail here that takes you right into the dining room. Um, the guy that was living here um, left, took most of the furniture, but you're going to see as I kind of take you around, some things were left. So um, you'll also see that a lot of this house really is in pretty rough shape. So beyond just being kind of dirty, there's things that are falling apart, rotting, etc., etc. Exhibit A is this kitchen. Um, needless to say, I think that this is going to be a really good before and after of this kitchen because this thing is in pretty rough shape. Take a look at this retro um, microwave oven hood scenario here. So yeah, this is the kitchen. On back here is, I guess, what you could consider just kind of a little pass through to the back deck. They've got a washer and dryer. He may have had a table here for like a little breakfast room. Not 100% sure how they use this space. And then on through here, is the first bath. So you can see him and all his glory. Then on through here is the master. We can tell um, in a few different ways that this house was remodeled and added onto over the years. The ceiling textures vary throughout the house, so in certain parts of the house it's a textured ceiling. In this room and a few others it's smooth. So we think this was definitely added on at some point. So I think this was his master sitting room and then his master bed maybe was in this spot. And then this is the master bath in here. All right, on this way, there is a basement. It's one of the dirt, dirt filled basements down there. There's nothing other than like mechanical stuff down there right now. Um, but you know, kind of creepy, but it is, you know, some good storage space. So that's down in there. This is the second bedroom here, closet area. And then this is the attic, which has a whole set of stairs. Honestly, would have been my dream as a child. Like it's my whole little apartment up here, sort of. Now it's honestly not because it's not conditioned and the roof lines are low in a lot of the different spaces. But he clearly used this for some really good storage areas up here. So this was kind of happy. The natural light's happy. You know, kind of cool up here. And then on into this room, we're not really sure what this room was, maybe a sitting room. It has this door here um, that leads back into the living room. So I don't know, it has this light fixture. So we're thinking maybe a sitting room of some kind in this space. It's got a little closet here, you can see. And then on into here is a room that he clearly used as like a library slash office. 
like I said, all of this stuff has been kind of left here. So we've actually had some fun going through some of these books to see if there's any kind of hidden treasure, like, you know, money hidden somewhere or something cool like that. Um, another cool stained glass window. This is on the front of the house. So this is sitting right beside that screened in porch that we walked into when we first got into the house. And then on into here is back to the living room. So as you can see, it's not a huge house um, and it definitely, definitely needs some work, but you hopefully can see the potential that we can see. So like I said, right now we're in that due diligence phase, getting inspections on all of that good stuff, but fingers crossed that everything is going to work out. And I think being the optimist that we are, we're going to actually go ahead and start working on some potential ideas for a plan so that if we, if everything works out and, you know, we go through with the buying of this house, we are ready to go.